If you want to work in the high-tech industry, you need to know computer coding. Dev League is a great alternative to the traditional college programs that take four years or more to complete and cost much more when you add it all up. It's hard work, but it can be fun too. One of the largest competitive advantages we have in Dev League is um, that we do an onboarding process where we do interview the students. We've had some feedback from some of the mainland boot camps and also some of the mainland directories that have said that the onboarding process is the most important part and the ones that have provided the most upfront help um, have had the best outcomes. And part of our onboarding process includes um, tutoring and getting people to, you know, to the stage where they can certainly apply and certainly can, can pass the coding challenges. The tutoring is completely free before they've even officially been accepted. When they apply, if they have not had any background, um, we actually spend uh, quite a bit of time with them up front. Um, tutoring, doing private tutoring or virtual tutoring sessions as a group. The interview process uh, did help to prepare me for uh, the boot camp. It started with a coding challenge, um, and that was a good test of um, how much you could figure out on your own before class even started. My name is Unju Lee. Um, I actually have no background in, in IT or technology. My background was in as an administrative assistant, and executive, and then also I was a liaison for um, a nonprofit. So. I really saw how the tech industry is growing. This is the field, especially for women to get involved in because there's such a great opportunity out there. I would recommend Deadly to um, anybody, especially with some, somebody that does not have a background in IT. My name is Joelle Torneros, and I'm originally from Sacramento, California. I moved here in 2008 to help my boyfriend start PC Gamers, the internet cafe in IAEA. Russell and Jason came out to our business a few months back to introduce Dev League, and since then I've been, you know, very interested in what they do. So I did consider other options as in college, uh, four-year colleges, but when Russell and Jason approached us with uh, Dev League, it just seemed like a really opportune moment um, to really just get my career as a web developer started. What I enjoy most about Dev League are getting to know the people in, in Dev League, uh, not just the students, but the mentors. The main thing that we teach here at Dev League, which is different from other schools, is that we teach students um, how to learn, how to learn. Well, we put uh, at least 66 hours a week uh, into dedicated time into learning code at Dev League. And the main part about that is immersion. You want to immerse the students like as if you were learning a new language and went to that country and lived there. That's the same kind of experience we want to create. John, my instructor, is very like down to earth. And he's young, but then I guess he's been coding since he was like born or something. <laughs> well, I studied graphic design at UH Manola. And when I was at UH, they taught us about HTML and CSS. And then they're like, oh, we're not even going to go into JavaScript. I feel like I need a portfolio to show off some coding or like something, like a project, just so that I can show people what I care about or like um, what I can do. With all the project work that we do in class, since everything is project focused, all of the code that they write and all the projects they do is publicly available uh, on their GitHub profiles. I chose Dev League because after I had gotten my undergraduate in computer science, I didn't feel like I was going to be able to compete in industry. I didn't feel like I knew anything. I heard about Dev League through Rails Bridge Hawaii, and that was an all-women Ruby convention. And that's when Jason Sewell came up to speak. He said, we need more women to, to take high-paying jobs. The biggest surprise is the, the passion that I see in our instructors. I, I was skeptical because I, I didn't want to be wasting my time or my money. Um, but when you get to talking with our TAs and our main instructor, you realize that they're really here and they believe in what they, they do, and that's to build Hawaii's IT community. I feel that Dev League is very important for anybody that wants to get involved in computer programming uh, or become software engineers, web developers. I, I would recommend it to everyone. The next cohort starts for the part-time cohort starts April 11th, uh, followed by the next full-time course, which starts on May 26th. So if people want to apply, they should apply now. We have a program called My Minecraft coming up. It's part of our Junior Dev League program. Um, it, it starts in spring break. 
The public school spring break is March 16 to the 20th. Uh, it's gonna be held at uh, Windward Community College. We have a private school type of spring break and it's on March 23rd to uh, 27th and that will be held at Mid Pacific Institute. The Junior Dev League My Minecraft program is a week long workshop. Uh, it goes from eight o'clock in the morning to five in the afternoon. And uh, basically the program is about creating an opportunity for kids to learn, learn how to program in Minecraft as opposed to just play the game.